Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC welterweight co contender Carlos Condit. Carlos, you're fighting Dan Hardy. You're going to England. Are you prepared to go and fight in hostile territory? You know, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm excited to step into the enemy's backyard and take it to him. Dan Hardy is coming off a title fight. You know, it's a five-round decision loss to George St. Pierre. Are you expecting the best Dan Hardy because he's going to be rebounding off a, a tough loss? Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, sh I'm sure that he's uh, he's fired up. I'm sure that you know he's you know not not too happy about his performance in, in his title fight, and you know, um, you know, I'm I'm expecting a very tough fight. Uh, upon the fight being announced, he said he couldn't wait to smash you. How do you respond to that? Okay. I mean, it's a fight. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Absolutely. And being that he's a counter striker, how are you preparing uh, your stand up for this fight? Uh, I'm going to counter strike the counter striker. No, I don't. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I plan on bringing uh, my well-rounded skill set to the to the fight, um, and I really think that that's going to make the difference. Um, you know, switching it up, mixing it up. You know, a little bit of misdirection. Uh, you're coming off a very hard-fought win over Roy McDonald. Very dramatic. How are you feeling coming off that win? Uh, do you feel the momentum in this fight is going to your side? Yeah, man, I feel great. Uh, I didn't, you know, I really didn't take any time off after that fight. I got right back in the gym and stayed in shape. And now that I'm back in camp for uh, training for Dan Hardy, I'm, it's, it's really paid off. I, I'm, I'm in better shape than I was for, for the last fight, and I was in pretty good shape. So. When two strikers step into the octagon, there's an expectation that they're not going to take each other to the ground. They have that gentleman's agreement. Uh, is that a mentality that you're bringing into the fight, or are you prepared to go anywhere? You know, this is MMA, man. You know, I, I'm a striker. I'm a grappler. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm expecting to, to bring, you know, my, my entire skill set to the, to the table when I fight Dan. And, uh, you know, wherever it goes, it goes. UFC recently signed Jake Shields, uh, someone you've met in the past. Is that a fight that you'd welcome in the future? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Jake's a great fighter. Um, you know, got a lot of respect for him. Um, you know, we had a pretty tough fight a couple years ago, and I'd definitely like to rematch him. Uh, w with Dan Hardy, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge he's going to bring to the table uh, in regards to your game? Uh, well, he, he's a powerful athlete, man. Um, you know, he's very strong. Uh, and, you know, he, he showed that against George. Uh, he was able to, you know, kind of muscle, muscle his way out of some submissions. Um, so that's something that I've really been focusing on in my, in my training camp is uh, improving my power and improving my strength. Do you feel that this is the fight that could get you into title contention? Absolutely. Um, you know, this is, you know, w one step closer to, to my goal, which is to be the champion. You know, there's, there's no point in really being in the sport unless, you're, unless you want that belt. UFC welterweight, Carlos Condit.